All right, back in the shed today. It is raining outside, but it's nice and dry in here. And I thought it's ages since we planted things. But I thought I'd have a look first of all at some of the things we planted a while ago. Well, I planted a while ago. I can't remember if we made videos of them or not. But I thought I'd show you how plants have grown. Now, you don't just have to plant plants in plant pots. You can plant plants in lots of things. I have got some of my plants here. So this one here is a dahlia. And he is planted in an old boot. So I've got my dahlia growing here in an old boot. And that's going to have a brilliant big yellow flower. Another one with a much taller flower is my sunflowers. Now my sunflowers are planted after my dahlias. But they grow much, much quicker. And then I've also got some things planted in an old Vimto bottle. And this one is a tomato plant. And if you look really carefully, oh, I'll spin you around. Let's see if you can see them. Can you see? It's got some tomatoes growing. And as I say, that one's just in an old bottle. So you don't need to have lots and lots of stuff to plant things in. You can plant things in all sorts of old things you've got. Okay. Now today I thought we'd plant something really simple that grows much quicker than dahlias, much quicker than tomatoes and lettuces and even quicker than sunflowers although sunflowers do grow very quickly this one is getting bigger and bigger it's going to be ginormous but today i thought we'd plant something that's quite little that grows really quickly in fact it grows so quickly you don't even need soil so what you are going to need is a I've got an old Chinese tray, but you could use any container that way. Okay, you could even use a plate, so it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Now, if you've got some soil, great. If you haven't got soil, I'm not using soil today, you can use kitchen roll, okay? And the kitchen roll, you can get a grown-up, or you can do it yourselves if you've got some scissors and you're allowed to use them. You're going to cut your kitchen roll to fit inside your pot. So you're going to put your kitchen roll in your pot. Now, you could just do that, make it wet, and then plant some seeds. But that would be a bit boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant your name letter. So first of all, we need a piece of paper that is bigger than the pot. OK, we're going to draw around the bottom of the pot. So let me tilt you so you can see what we're doing. OK, so we've got the pot. And we're going to put it on the piece of paper and then I'm going to draw around the bottom. Okay. So, drawing around the bottom of the pot. Can you see? And then we've got to cut that out. So again, ask your grown-ups because sometimes you've got sharp scissors. Your grown-ups can hold the piece of paper while you cut round the bottom of your pot. Now it should fit inside. See? Perfect. Got green inside my pot. Now, the next bit is we're going to grow our letter sound. So, you've all got different names. You've all got different sounds. You've got to draw your own on this. I'm going to draw a big curly Okay, because my name is Curly Cut the Caroline. Now, get your once you've had a go at it, or you can get your grown student and you trace it, it needs to be quite a big fat shape, okay? So you can see I've drawn my curly cut like that. Alright. Now, with the scissors, it doesn't matter that we're cutting from the edge, okay? Just don't cut any of the pieces out other than your letter. And again, your grown-ups can help you with this. Now, if you're using a big plate, you can use a big piece of paper. And your piece of paper might be round if you drew around the plate. Okay. So you're going to cut out your letter. I've got quite an easy letter. Some of you might have quite tricky letters. So you might need your grown-ups a lot. Well, you will need your grown-ups to do this, but okay, do not worry. So, 
we've now got, I'm going to put it inside, my curly cutter inside my pot. It's doing a bit of wiggling. Okay, can you see? I've got my curly cur inside my pot. Now the next bit's really good fun. Okay, you need a watering can if you've got one. If you haven't got a watering can, don't worry, you can just use a jug or a cup because all plants need water to grow. So you're going to get it and you're going to pour water in it till it's really, really wet and the tissue paper has soaked it all up and you're going to squidge down your letter on the top because you want your letter to stick to the tissue paper. Okay, and then you can pour any water left over back into your watering can. Okay, so you can see now Mine's all stuck on with the water and the tissue's all wet. So the next bit we need to do, and we want here so you can see, is we need to put the seeds on. Now, the best seeds for this, and God's garden centres are open, we can get these, it's cress. Uh, it's really cheap and it grows really quickly. And you can eat it. Woo! Put it in a sandwich with some cheese and ham or egg. So, or jam, but I don't think jam would taste very nice. So I'm going to cut the top of the seed packet. Now, when you sprinkle your seeds on, they can only go on your letter. Okay, you don't want them sneaking under it. That's why we stuck it down. Okay, so you're going to tap your seeds on. If you tap them rather than pull them, they won't go everywhere. Okay, you don't need to use the whole packet. Once you've tapped them on, if they're on the paper, you can use your finger just to brush them onto the wet tissue paper. Okay, so it takes a bit of time, it's a bit fiddly and they might stick to your fingers, which might annoy you, but don't get angry, just push them on. If they come off on your finger, don't worry, you don't need all of them. Okay. So, when you've got them all on, they should stick to the water, okay? Can you see? I'm going to make a curly cut. So when you've done that, it's really important to keep it damp, not dry out, but not be swimming. If you're swimming, all the seeds will just float about like you do when you go to the swimming pool. So you've got to keep it somewhere that you can see it a lot. You might want to put it on the windowsill in your room, maybe, or in your lounge, somewhere that's got a sunny windowsill, okay? And what you can do with it, is every day you can check touch with your finger and if it's dry you need to add a little bit more water if it's still wet don't worry and in one or two sleeps you will see tiny little plant growing okay and you'll be growing all the little plants in the letter of your name maybe when you've grown your little plants you could take a photograph and post it so I can see what your lush names look like in Cress I'm going to see what my sound of curly cur looks like in crest. Okay, enjoy making it. Bye.